Hey, hello everyone, and in this video I'm gonna show you some very interesting stuff about The Hobbit 2003 games. So, if you're just curious about this game, it was released like 17 years ago, and right now there are some players who are speedrunning these games, and actually, including myself, I am speedrunning it, but not really often, so I usually get kind of bad speedruns, but still, you know. So, actually in this video I'm gonna provide you with some very interesting stuff about this game which will help you to speedrun it or if you are a developer and very curious about it and even would like to see your master of it um, I will provide you some very interesting stuff that we found out for the last couple of years that you can try to do something with it So especially right now what we are able to do is extract extract 3d models from the level and also a texture textures using an ninja reaper program and noises to view them and finally a blender to be able to edit them and also what we've done is our guy who called mdpy uh, was able to get some very interesting developer stuff from the game which is special as you can see I can fly right now and also I have a developer console which is like you know very cool because there is so much different stuff right here and also I can do a lot of different stuff like render all these faces or even I can see show you some triggers which are based for example this trigger if you're just gonna walk into it and gonna end the level which is very weird I guess what happens no one knows well, um, also, for example, like Unrender Bilbo, I don't know what else is here, Unrender Sky, Skybox, and much more stuff. For example, we can try to turn on a cube, cylinder around our Bilbo, get our Bilbo position in the world, some developer songs, triangle stats. Well, very interesting. So, uh, how to do it, basically. In this video description, I will provide a link for a Rare Hub. Rare archive yes raw archive which will contain some very interesting information about this game so firstly let me gonna show you um this is it it's unpacked right now here's a readme so please read it before you're gonna use it uh this archive files and so on and also for more info you can join our discord it's a hobby speedrun discord and also we are talking about some development stuff in there it's not much active, but, well, you know, you're gonna find some players who are interested in this game. So, there is some information about how to extract 3D models, and then also load everything in Barrels Auto Bond level, very interesting stuff. Also exporting 3D models and textures to Blender, which is very important, because you're probably gonna wanna do something with them, I guess. And also, I will include here uh, my hobby trainer, which was developed by me and MDPy. MDPy helped me a lot. I was just using his stuff that he found out and combined it into a program using Cheat Engine. Okay, so first program is called Ninja Ripper. With a use of it, you can extract 3D models and textures. As I said earlier, in the readme file, everything is explained. I tried to explain it as as hard as I could, like as clear as possible. So please read it before you do anything. And here's, I will also provide some extracted files already from the Barrels Out of Bond level. And here's our second problem program, program, which is called Maezis, which will basically allow you to view some of these files straight away without importing them in Blender. And when you're new, when you already know what the file is, you can try to export it in Blender using this add-on, IO import rip. I'll also provide a description here how to import it. Just read this readme file, it's very useful, guys. I spent like 10 minutes on writing it, and please read it. So, uh, using Asus, we can preview these 3D models, which is kind of cool. I don't know from what level, I actually know from what level they are, but what is this? There are a bunch of stuff, like as you can see here is a 3D model of um, of a bridge, part of a bridge, in the beginning of the level. Here would be some other stuff. Oh, that's actually a bridges. Yep, yep, that is a bridges. And as I said, you can export these 3D models to Blender, which is very useful. So how does this two program works? 
they basically when you run in Hobbit, if you're gonna press F10 using Ninja Ripper, it will gonna get everything from the GPU's memory, which are textures and 3D models with polygons and vertices. And it will gonna throw you in the file that you select. And after that, you're gonna end up with something like this with a whole bunch of files, which are all different 3D models. And this .rip format can be converted easily using this add-on and uh, then import it into Blender, which is very good for you. Uh, also here is ch07 bar dfs file, which will allow you to render, basically load everything in the barrels of the bond level. I will gonna show you actually to, right, to you right now. So. I have already this file imported, and if I'm gonna to, if I'm gonna try to, shit. okay, if I'm gonna try to pass somewhere, as you can see, everything is already loaded. That's mdpymed. This file was made by mdpy, which is a great guy, as I told you. So he was able to do it somehow. I don't know exactly how, but still, you know, uh, I just must include this so you can see all this stuff here and actually what's very interesting with this file you can actually access one library which is closed and you will never be able to get into it because it will always be unloading uh, it was in some part of development you know but uh, actually I guess Sierra ended up to not using it why I don't know some very interesting beings here and it should be a library maybe there there's also like a room here, I will show it to you right now. That's like for you, I'm showing this to you guys so you can see that there is some stuff in Hobbit that you can explore and it's very interesting. Uh, it's even here, as you can see, a uh, safe pedestal, which is like, wow, why should it be here? And also, what are these stuffs? You should have been putting here some stuff and also a cutscene, beautiful. Actually, if we're gonna walk here, you're gonna see that this is just from this room right here, but they actually put it in invisible wall here, so you won't be able to access it without my trainer. Oh, damn. Again. Okay, I am back. I don't know why my Hobbit game just crashed. Well, who knows? So, um, oh, I just got caught. Shit. Actually, I can show you, show you in this, even this room right here. Oh, I forgot to... Yeah, let's talk about this trainer, by the way. Uh, this trainer was created, as I said, by me and MDPy, and I was just using some stuff to make it as a program. So basically what you're doing, you're just, after you run Hobbit, you're just opening it. And here's some stuff. It was made using Cheat Engine, so that's why interface is so bad. Uh, here's some stuff that you can find out. Um, actually, I was made it for myself from the beginning, so maybe you won't understand some of this stuff, but you should. This is just the key, and this is effect that you're gonna get. For example, if I'm gonna play a C, my stamina was, will always be full. Okay, so after you run it, just enter the Hobbit game back. Boom. And now we can access all the developer stuff which was found out just by pressing some keys on my numpad. So for example, if we're gonna press X, I'm gonna be in the flying mode and, and after I press Z, I'll be able to clip through walls. So where is that? Um, oh yeah, that room. That is actually that room when, oh, I don't remember, will they be able to find me? Okay, ju they're just idle. Yeah. So that is actually that room where Bilbo is sitting. It's very weird here. As you can see, it's on renders. Yeah. I don't know why, but here's where that cutscene takes scene. It just teleports your Bilbo to here. He's sitting there. And these two elves are closing this door. Okay, very interesting. Uh, let me show you some more stuff, I guess. Yeah, very nice. For example, you can use this system menu, which was left by developers here to exit level completely or just run some more interesting stuff. Let me show you one more thing here. Um, this is barrels of the bonds level. 
let's clip. I don't remember where it should be, but oh, um, press numpad to see the triggers. Very interesting stuff here going on. So definitely check it out. Like uh, you can just explore the world of Hobbit, like you've never seen it before. Here is this room. We're just actually getting to the end of the level very quickly. Here after this door, which you've never meant to go through, is a la is an area which you won't be able to access without the stuff that they provided to you. Wow, what was that? Okay, and you can park some stuff here. Come on. Yep. Great. And let's unrender the stuff. I don't know why there is no like water in here, but there is something there. I guess it's an invisible wall. So as I said, you can explore the world of Hobbit like this using this trainer. Very cool. I was able to find some very interesting stuff for me that I've never seen before. And uh, as I said, I will provide a link for a video that explains everything from this from my buddy Quicksim. Quicksim. Yes, quick Sam in the description. And the last part, as I was talking about, is. Oh, actually, I showed you, yep. I showed you everything that I want. Using Noesis, we can open these 3D models here. You can actually find even some, like, guys here, like NPCs and so on. Here are some textures from the game if you were interested about them or you really liked one. Here also should be something like. Um, Oh yeah, this is uh, the textures from the NPCs actually. And this is a hobby texture, I guess. Yep, maybe this is kind of looking like a hobby texture. Oh, actually, well, there it is. Wow, okay, <laughs> very interesting. So that was actually it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I just wanted to upload it so everyone that wanted to explore some Hobbit stuff or is interesting for like some beta stuff and developer stuff in this game can easily find it out and as I said uh, join our discord server about Hobbit if you're interested in this game we are talking there together and speedrunning so maybe you're gonna to speedrun this game which is kind of like I guess for the game that is 17 years old but well you know why not you can try it you'll just would be very interesting if you were playing this game like when you were a child and now you're gonna be speedrunning it just why not you explore a lot of interesting stuff for yourself and also here is the best thumbnail that i made for any th streams you're gonna use just use it very good thumbnail everyone will subscribe to your channel if you're gonna use it that was actually good guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if so click that like button and maybe you can share it to your friends I don't know here's wow what is that a ladder I don't think we have ladders in Hobbit or maybe I d just don't remember well well as I said there is some developer stuff right here try it out check it out yourself oh uh, exit level done the peep check it out yourself you can explore this world of Hobbit, see some... As you can see, here is an invisible wall, but if I just press Z, I can get through it. Explore some different stuff for yourself. Be, inter be interested in Hobbit and... Uh, yep, that was it. Thanks for watching.